Welcome back to another session with Aquasharks. Uh, today we're going to focus on hip stretches and mobility. So we want legs sort of um, shoulder width apart, the hips to stay stable when we're doing the uh, movements, and also shoulders. So we're just going to start with nice easy hip rotations, forwards and backwards. Sort of trying to keep the hip fairly stay, uh, straight. We don't want any jerking into the corners. It's a nice, easy rotation. You can also do it the other way. You can do figures of eight as well. Yeah, do that for 60 seconds. Then we're going to go into a um, side stretch on the hips. We're just going to move the weight onto the one foot. Body nice and level, we're going to keep the body level and we're going to just move the hip out to the side so we feel a stretch down the side there. 10 seconds, release it a little bit, back into the position. Make sure that you're always engaging the core. The other side. You want to remain. Make sure that we've still got tension on this leg, not collapsing into the hip, pushing into the hip. And then we're going to go into our butterfly. Balls of the feet together, as close to the groin as possible. Back fairly straight, not arched. And we're going to just get those knees down as far as we can. So if you're finding the stretch pretty easy, you can always use the elbows to press out deeper into the hips and the groin. Remember to keep the back nice and long. Remember to keep going to where you are comfortable with. We're going to hold that for, for 60 seconds. The next one we're going into, we're going to put the ankle on the knee. The other knee gets pushed out. The idea is to push this knee out a little bit and push this ankle up higher. The less flexible you are, the further the foot is going to uh, be down. The more flexible you are, the closer you're going to bring this foot up to the body. Remember to keep the hips straight. Just like that. Remember, push this knee that way and this ankle towards you. Doing that, we can just lift up that foot there, and that then pushes the ankle back. Remember to keep hips straight. Another version of that is there. Feet up, push out with the right hand onto the knee, bring this knee back. From that position, we're going to go into happy baby. Yeah. We'll grab the feet, make sure the soles of the feet are pointing up. It's a 90 degree angle, roughly. You want to try and get the knees down to the ground. Remember to also get the knees nice and wide. Nice, re relaxing and comfortable position. Once you've found that and your neck is nice and loose, you can roll a little bit into the into the lower back, 
rocking the baby to sleep. 